Dear Reddit, what is your all-time most embarrassing moment? Recently went on a vacation with some friends plus a mutual friend who I don't know that well. Him and I took the pull-out couches, and his was right next to the bathroom. Later one night, when we were all walking around away from our hotel, I got the stomach rumbles. Then the nausea hit. I have never felt so sick in my life. It felt like someone was grabbing my insides and twisting them. The second we got back to our hotel I made a beeline for the bathroom. Through that paper thin wall, this guy I barely knew heard me shirt pure liquid out of my mass, complete with loud, wet farts, cry, and vomit in a trash can in front of me. I spent the rest of the night shivering in bed and making runs to the bathroom. I hit the been married for a decade barrier with them in a single night. Food poisoning is a bish. The amount of times I have been misled into thinking someone was trying to high five me, and then going in for it. I've wanted to die every time. I was at an NFL game, and something I had ate earlier had just wrecked my stomach and left me with horrible gas. Like the kind which clears a room, it is so bad. I was walking up the stairs to my seat mid-game and really had to let one rip. Right then the crowd cheered and I thought the moment was right. What I didn't realize is that my mass was at the same level as a woman sitting in her seat on the aisle and I literally farted right in her ear. I looked back at her as she looked at me with shock and disgust, I quickly turned away and climbed the stairs as fast as I could and blended into the crowd. I still think about her time to time, and how horrible that must have truly been for her, and just cringe at what an idiot I was. Edit, never thought my life's most cringeworthy moment that I had planned to take to my grave would blow up like this 10 years after it occurred. I'm glad so many of you have found enjoyment in my extreme shame blended into the crowd. Assassin's Creed. Edit, thanks for the gold. Shots and disappears into the crowd. I had a great day at a water park slash outdoor pool, and towards the afternoon a woman came up to me and whispered in my ear that I have a problem with my swimsuit. I reached behind and noticed a huge gap. The fabric was torn right in the middle and you could see my white, untanned mass crack. I was running around like this all day and no one said anything. Kudos to the woman. Everyone else just watched and didn't say a word. Was on an airplane years ago with my girlfriend and her parents. My girlfriend couldn't get a seat next to me and sat directly behind me. During the flight I thought I would surprise her and reached my hand back onto her knee. Slowly I kept extending it up her thigh until I heard giggling. Looked behind through the seats and saw that my hand was on the leg of the guy next to her. He saw my face and said, I just wanted to see how far you'd go. Of course my girlfriend was in on it and started laughing along with the rest of the row. Was so embarrassed. I was at my friend's birthday party in high school and was super drunk. Ran up to a group of people and said watch this. I then proceeded to run and dive into a bounce house, only for the velcro lined entrance to grab my sweat slash boxes and pull them down to my ankles. I'll never forget the looks of horror on their faces, while I laid there on my back with my legs in the air, showing off all my goodies. Nothing good starts with a watch this. This was during my sophomore year in math class. I sat between two gentlemen. I was really congested that day and thus pretty tired at the same time. I was resting my head in my hand and hunched over my math book when I felt a sneeze coming. I went to lean back but apparently didn't move quick enough when the force of this sneeze sent my face hurling into my desk. My head smacked the desk so hard that I bounced back up like a basketball. At that point I was just dizzy and like up. Meanwhile, the two guys next to me just completely lose their shirt. The one on the right is howling with laughter. The one on the left has his face in his hands and is snorting. The teacher looked at us so confused and all I could say was, I sneezed my sophomore year of high school I had a crush on a girl that I had a class with. We talked a few times but I didn't know her that well. It was around Valentine's Day and our school did a thing where you could pay $10 and student volunteers would go sing a song you picked, in class, to whoever you picked, and give them a card. So instead of approaching her like a normal person for a date I decided to go with the singing Valentine. I plunked down my $10, signed up and started getting extremely nervous about the next day. That afternoon I told my friend what I'd done and he started laughing. And laughing. 
more than if he were just laughing at a bad idea. Finally he told me that the girl had a boyfriend, he was a senior, and I was an idiot. The next morning I explained the situation to a friend of mine that was involved in the program, and after he finished laughing he told me it was too late, singing assignments were out, it was going to happen. My only hope was that, since singers and time are limited, they wouldn't get to mine, which is a thing that would sometimes happen and you got your $10 back and not humiliated. So our class together rolls around, which of course I had sent it to that one, and I start watching the clock. A couple other people got the singing valentines but with about 10 minutes left mine still hadn't come. Then the door opened. And instead of the one person with a boombox we normally had there were three. One was the guy I had begged to cancel it, who gave me the biggest smile as they set up. Now, song options had been limited. This was before streaming existed so it was just what they happened to have CDs of. I honestly didn't know most of the songs, and didn't want to go sappy, so I went with the one higher tempo song I knew, Wild Thing. So they announced who the valentine was for and she blushed, I'm sure assuming it was from her boyfriend. They started singing and she blushed harder. They handed her the card that I had written my name in and her face stopped being pink and went far more red. She looked over at me, and all I could do was shrug. After they left she said, out loud, but chai, I have a boyfriend. And then everyone knew it was from me. I just muttered that I'd found out too late and happy valentine's day and I'm sorry. That was the most embarrassed I've ever been. I hit face first into a street light lamp post because I was staring, while walking, at a beautiful girl walking towards the direction where I am coming from. It was in front of the main gate of our university. Hundreds of students saw it. My friends laughed hard as hell. When I was 16, I went to a water park with slides and pools and all with my uncle and two younger cousins. I wore a regular bikini and went swimming in some pools with my cousins for about 40 minutes. We then went to this big slide thing, and after that we got in line to do an even bigger one with my uncle too. As I'm standing in line, I hear some teenagers laugh behind me, and I turned around to see one of them pointing at me and quickly stopped as they saw me stare back. I then looked down. I had bits of wet, white toilet paper all down my legs. When I was a teenager I used to always fold toilet paper and put it in my underwear to prevent discharge staining them. I must have done it automatically and forgot I was wearing a bathing suit. I have never felt so exposed and ashamed in my life. There wasn't just a little bit. I started trying to get it off, but there was always more. I tried to play it cool as I was chatting to my uncle, and I know for a fact he noticed because he always notices little things but thankfully he never said a word. We are not that close which made it all the more awkward, along with the fact I was touching my crotch way too much. I was paranoid for the rest of the day for there to be more. I don't know if it was more cringe worthy than embarrassing, but thinking back I definitely grimace. I was in kindergarten and was playing in the sandbox at recess one day with my friend. We were making a sand castle but didn't have any sand that was wet enough to form a solid structure. I had been holding my pee for a while, and being 5 years old I didn't want to stop playing, so I let it out while I was sitting and promptly let my friend know that I had magically found some wet sand that we could build with, and no one was the wiser. We built a damn good castle. Sorry, Matthew. Lol. The logic behind this is killing me and the fact that all of the other kids completely accepted it. Oh, here's that pile of wet sand. I knew it was around here somewhere. I wasn't there when it happened, but I have like, residual embarrassment because I sent my wife a naked pic of me and she opened her phone screen to show something to her family and, oh, I have a message from my honey, what could this be? Oh god. She must have been mortified. Using the word honey out loud. Sigh. I was 15 or 16, sitting at my table in my room, browsing the internet. I had one hand in my pants playing around with my random boner. It was nothing exul, I was just keeping my hands occupied as I would if I were tapping my foot or twiddling my thumbs. So I was doing a helicopter, stretching, pulling, etc. At one point, I must have pushed against the shaft too much because I immediately heard a click as you would hear when cracking your fingers or knuckles, and my then prominent wang started to deflate. 
I started panicking quite a bit, as you might think, as this had never happened to me before. I did not get a spontaneous boner for the next 2 or 3 days after that, which for a teenager, who would get them several times a day, is practically unheard of. I went to Dr. Google and thought that I had a penile fracture, though it did not look at all like the pictures, no purple swelling and no misshapen form. Well, I finally had the courage and sheepishly told my mom about this, and exactly how it happened. She scheduled an appointment to the urologist. I begged her not to go with me, helicopter mom, as I was already so embarrassed. I went the urologist, and told him about the clicking, the deflation, and the lack of boners for the subsequent couple of days, leaving out exactly what caused it all. He checked me and said, yeah, definitely no penile fracture. Everything looks alright. Just take it easy the next time she is on top. Yeah, I actually didn't have eggs, so then how did it happen? My face went absolutely red and my teenage angst went into overdrive. I sighed and awkwardly explained to him exactly what transpired. I could tell that my urologist was trying to keep a straight face while I was explaining it to him, but he just started laughing towards the end, apologizing and saying that that was the first time he's ever heard something like that in his 15 years of practicing. I just wanted to die right then and there. I still think of it when I walk into the offices at work, usually when I arrive there's nobody there and I go ahead and do my thing. Walked into work, music blasting out of my earbuds doing the footloose dance to do a swirl and turn around to see a full conference room of people just staring at me for a solid 10 seconds. Did not know there was an early meeting that day. Continue dancing while maintaining eye contact. Show them who's alpha.